Okay, today we're going to learn the parts of the pottery wheel and how they work together. Now, as you can see, the pottery wheel, you have to have a stool you're sitting on. A pottery wheel, when you come in, they're usually going to be left like this so that you can, when you clean up, you're going to leave them like this. Now, the wheel is made up of several different parts. I'm going to move these so you can actually see what we're talking about. The, we're going to start at the top and work our way down. The aluminum plate is called a wheel head. The two little pins that stick up are called bat pins. Now, if you threw like this, you're going to end up a mess. So we have a splash pan, and the splash pan is made of two pieces. The bigger piece goes towards you to protect you from getting to be a mess. The smaller piece goes out here. You put the big piece on first. The way you do that is you hook your foot around the leg. This flange fits underneath a plate. So to put that on there, I'm holding my heel, slide this under until it catches, and then I just work it back and forth until it goes on. To put the other splash pan on, you simply tilt it up like this, these holes are gonna go around the pins that are sticking down. So I slide it up and it just clicks in place like that. The tray up here is where you're gonna put your water and your tools and we'll see that in a little bit. Now, you, can't, you can throw on the wheel head, but we're not going to. We're gonna use a bat. There are two sizes of bats. Generally, for everything you're gonna make in here, you're gonna to wanna to use the small bat. The way a bat works is you put the bat, the hole over the bat pin, put the other bat pin down, so that's, it's mounted on there like that. Now, um, electricity runs these wheels. Down here, the switch that's closest to you is the power switch. If I flip it up, that means the wheel's getting electricity. And if I push the switch forward, that means the wheel is gonna spin towards my left palm. To make the wheel spin, I'm gonna put my foot on the gas pedal and it works just like a car or a lawnmower. You push down for it to spin. And if you notice, it's spinning into my, the palm of my left hand. That's what you want to have happen, all right? Now, if you notice, the wheel is spinning, my foot is on the floor. That means when I'm working, I can rest my arms on my, or my elbows on my knees to hold my hands steady. If I need to change the speed, I can either turn it faster, I can stop it, whatever I need to do. Now, we're lucky. I teach most people to throw uh, in the uh, Western style but sometimes, every once in a while, I'll get someone who throws better in the Eastern style, the Oriental style. So to change that, all you do is take and pull the switch. It'll go into a middle, which is like a neutral, and then pull it towards you. We get it going, and this time, it spins towards the palm of my right hand. And the Oriental countries, Japan, Korea, a lot of them throw this style. And I've had two or three kids who really prefer throwing this way. Then all I do is stop it. Back to neutral. Back forward. And now it spins in the Western tradition, spinning into my left palm. Okay, we actually have two different styles of pottery wheel. Uh, the big difference is in the electrical switch on the side. For this style of pottery wheel, to turn it on, I flip that down, this light will come on. You can also see there's on and off, which will help now tell you. When the switch is up, it works the same way. I push down on the pedal and it spins towards my left hand. Okay, and this is how we're gonna learn to throw. If you ever want to try the other tradition, I stop it just the same way. This time, to change the direction of the wheel, I push to the center, which is in neutral. Then I push down, 
start the wheel again, and this time it's spinning into my right palm, and I can throw like this. All right. Turn it off. Change it back the other way. Back to neutral. And then back up. That changes it back so that it spins towards my left hand. All right. That is the big difference between our pottery wheels. This has a more powerful motor. Uh, you can throw more clay on it, more weight if you needed to, but for what we're gonna do, either wheel is gonna be fine. But that's how the, the difference between the two switches and how they work.